Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Sustainable Inclusive Business. My name is Ebenezer Amadi. Over the past period, we have had a look at different sectors and the impact of COVID-19 to the sectors. Today, we delve deeper into sports, culture and arts. How about Mwachiro, who is the chair of the Sports, Culture and Arts Sector Board at Kenya Private Sector Alliance, joins us. I mean, I think um, the sports sector has been one of the most vulnerable uh, sectors, uh, maybe not uh, being uh, highlighted uh, in the key media and other forums, but the uh, sports sector is actually one of the most vulnerable. We've seen uh, a lot of international events, let me take it from a global perspective. A lot of international events have been cancelled, especially like uh, the Olympics, uh, which was going to be the highlight of uh, this year's key, key sporting events. And uh, that affects Kenya, because uh, Kenya, you know, is a very key competitor in, uh, in, the, in the Olympics. We are an athletics giant and as well as other team sports. We had rugby, both men and women going for that. We had volleyball also taking part as well as other team sports, taekwondo, wrestling, boxing. So you can see the impact it is having on that, uh, the cancellation of the Olympics from 2020 to 2021 is actually affecting uh, our sportsmen, our federations, uh, both in terms of just uh, activities leading to the Olympic Games as well as the individual team and uh, sports uh, men and women uh, preparations. When I come back to what's happening locally, we can see that uh, a lot of the competitions locally have been cancelled. The Kenya Premier League, the Kenya Cup Rugby Championship, the boxing, the volleyball, the netball, the swimming calendars, um, all local sporting events have actually come to a standstill. And uh, this is actually quite uh, tragic for these uh, sportsmen because they're uh, it brings a period of uh, inactivity. On top of my head, uh, Beneza, I think, uh, let me say that uh, the losses here are to both the sports organizations as well as to the, 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 the organizations, the, the, the partners that uh, provide sponsorship and money into the games. So I am looking about, uh, off the top of my head, maybe between uh, 200 to 500 million uh, in terms of uh, losses, but uh, the figure could be more. It could be actually be heading towards uh, uh, 1 billion shillings if we quantify everything in terms of sports earnings, influx from uh, foreign earnings that uh, some of our high paying athletes uh, bring in, uh, what we would have gotten in in terms of sponsorship for the international events coming in from outside as well as here local, as well even uh, what uh, some of the companies that have heavily invested in sports uh, locally do invest. There are companies that have sports teams, there are companies that have sports functions. The organizations that sponsor various uh, competitions and sports. So the the loss is, uh, is, is is tremendous, both from an individual perspective as well as from a corporate uh, and institutional perspective. Universities also invest in sports, so you can imagine uh, all those losses that uh, all these institutions uh, are facing. The national schools uh, drama, the national schools music festival, the various county cultural festivals, you know, the Lamu Cultural Festival, the Tukana Cultural Festival, the Samburu Cultural Festival, all those events basically have come to us. So basically we are looking at uh, a, 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 a season of uh, cultural events uh, around the country. Uh, the Kalasha Film uh, Festival, among others. Uh, these are, these are events that uh, the Kenya Film Corporation and other stakeholders in that uh, area uh, look forward to annually to bring in uh, the creatives uh, into, into four. So you can imagine all these people uh, are no longer engaged. Uh, musicians, DJs, uh, singers, uh, actors, actresses, the film sector here in this uh, country uh, has all come uh, to a standstill. Um, but uh, also it uh, provides an opportunity for digital engagement, uh, online engagement. We've seen several artists starting to produce uh, um, their, 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 their songs or whatever their shows uh, on, on YouTube. Uh, we can see people now moving to YouTube to start reaching out uh, to the masses uh, and to show that uh, we are still able to, to, to connect, we are still able to perform. So I would encourage uh, artists, especially they can play a key role in uh, this uh, fight against uh, the coronavirus, fight against uh, COVID-19. So for them, there's an opportunity, new opportunities. In all this, um, I would ask uh, even uh, the organizations, the corporate organizations that have uh, put in money to support sportsmen and, uh, and artists and all cultural organizations, not to scrap those budgets in the future, but to possibly just suspend until next year uh, or whatever, when we come back, 
Um, I know we are, this sector is one of the most vulnerable in terms of the prioritization because uh, when you look at uh, matters to do with sports, culture and arts, uh, big, 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 big money starts uh, chopping uh, this sector very, very fast. And uh, we hope that uh, they will also consider uh, the same way they chop is the same way they come back. I know the economic conditions will be different, but uh, this sports industry is a sector that if made sustainable, can be a win-win for all. Um, the working from home concept is, uh, is basically the, 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 the mode that has been adopted. But remember, for some of these uh, sportsmen, first and foremost, they just need to survive. First and foremost, they, they just need to be able to put food on their table for themselves and their families before they even uh, think about uh, engaging more from home. The more privileged, the more fortunate ones are uh, who are financially able and stable are starting to adopt this. As I said, uh, uh, working through social media, uh, certain coaches have started uh, putting out uh, programs for their athletes you know, to get inactive. Remember, for the individual sports, it could be much easier to basically train within the house or within your compound or get a space where you can train alone. Uh, but uh, for where you have uh, team sports, I think those are the hardest hits. Um, even when uh, this pandemic is over, for certain competitions to come back, it will take about six to eight weeks for players to get back in shape before they can get into uh, active competition again. So you just can't say that uh, tomorrow football resumes or tomorrow rugby resumes or taekwondo resumes. No, it's all about getting back into match fitness. It's like having a pre-season all over again. So this working, uh, we are seeing uh, something sportsmen, those who are better off, the Victor Wanyamas, the Michael Olungas, the Johanna Omolos, they have started uh, helping out lesser fortunate people in society. You can see those who have are able to give back and I think uh, that, that, that's what we need. We've seen other sportsmen engaging with it, spread, spreading the message of uh, people to keep safe, stay home, sanitize, so that we can fight this uh, COVID uh, pandemic because this is uh, clearly uh, not just an individual issue, but it's a whole societal issue, a community issue. Nobody asked for this thing to come and uh, it's hit us, we deal with it. I think um, let's, let's encourage our, our sportsmen, our artists, uh, our creatives um, to take up these, uh, these challenges, these uh, opportunities. Uh, let us ask uh, um, where possible, uh, even the corporates uh, can use these people as brand ambassadors to, to to send uh, the message that uh, this corona war can be won by everything. You know this war is not going to be won by soldiers, it's not going to be won by guns, but it's going to be won by people on the front line, whether it's doctors, other medical personnel, people who are encouraging others, people who are sensitizing the message, spreading the message. And I think uh, there's an opportunity here for, both, for, for all in this uh, sports culture and arts sector to be encouraged. All they need is uh, their wherewithal to, be, to show them to encourage them, those who have the ability to pick up the rest, um, organizations that can actually guide and sensitize in this aspect can actually digitize so that uh, our artists, as we said, uh, as the other, uh, <laughs> the Twitter, is on a challenge. Uh, I think uh, we can we can we, we can we can set guidelines for the for the messaging. I just ask our sportsmen, our creatives, uh, not to lose heart. Um, talk to each other, let's engage, let's set up forums. We, we certainly will be looking for ways and avenues to engage and uh, see how we can overcome uh, this uh, pandemic. And uh, as I said, work at home, be fit, think about wellness, think about keeping fit and uh, ensuring that uh, your families and yourselves are safe in this uh, period of the pandemic. God bless you all.